Greetings Zappers, hello and welcome back once again to GameSpy, the gaming easter egg show where its host has snowballs thrown at him by larger YouTubers for views? What? But seriously guys, welcome back. Uh, first thing I have to say is I am actually currently ill. I might not sound like it, but I promise you I am very ill. Uh, just about recording this today, probably going to have lots of cuts in it, so I apologise for that as well. Um, but I do have some pretty cool easter eggs for you guys, ranging from some more of the unique cars to a full leak of an upcoming Ubisoft game. So let's not waste any time, let's get straight on with today's first easter egg. For those of you who have even made it a small amount of the way through the game, you should be aware of the Cyber Driver mission with Devon Von Devon and the Talking Car, as that mission is actually quite an early one you get to and it's also quite a memorable one as well. But did you know that the car itself is a reference to that of the 1980s television show known as Knight Rider? The show itself featured a double team of Michael Knight played by David Hasselhoff and Kit, which was voiced by William Daniels and that actually wasn't known for a long time because he wasn't credited. But Kit was actually a talking car that bears a striking resemblance to the one in Watch Dogs 2. So if all of you have ever seen one of those YouTuber swatted videos and wondered if the swatters themselves ever get some kind of comeuppance, this next easter egg might be just your kind of thing. Mainly it's a nod towards the Ubisoft game Rainbow Six Siege, as when you get to the swatter this is the game he's playing. However I personally quite like it for the simple fact that it's quite fun to think of it as some kind of payback for all of those real life swatters out there who think that this kind of thing is funny. But anyway, to find the swatter first you'll need to access this location on screen and then you'll find information on his whereabouts. Anybody know a prolapse? That's a handle? Yeah. This guy's swatting people during live streams. Sounds like a real dick bag. Worse than that, he flies a dead sec flag. Nuh uh. Nobody likes swatters. This is only gonna hurt our image. Let's see if I can find him online. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he really doesn't cover his tracks. I've already got an address. I'll put together a dead sec statement to denounce him. And I'll go teach him a lesson. Once you have it, follow the direction to find him, and then hack the terminal on the building to get access to his cameras. Then simply just hack his phone and call 911 and let him do the rest. With his bad language and temper, the police will be on their way quickly, thinking that someone is in trouble. Nice. Hey. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? If you- ah! 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 Hello? Are you in distress, ma'am? I'm sending someone to check it out. Can't you see I'm busy slaying motherfuckers right now? I got mad guns, okay? I got a Glock 9, a sawed off shoddy, and I just bought a fucking Uzi in Oakland last week. Never know when you're gonna need to go out guns blazing. Sorry, I can't. Hold on. Help's almost there. Police! Hello? Open up. Did you call 911? No, sir. No? I, I swear I didn't, I swear. But you think it's funny to prank the police kid? Not at all. No, I, I really didn't. I really didn't. But what I do think is most interesting about this is that it appears you can make this section have a slightly different outcome depending on how you play it. As when researching this, all of the clips I saw showed the police bursting through the door with a full SWAT team. However, when I did it, a single police officer knocked on the door. So give it a go and see what happens for you. In Watch Dogs 2 there are many parallels to real life, including many companies and counterparts in the game. And one of the most influential in the game is the company Noodle, or aka Google as it's better known in the real world. And as such, many similarities can be seen between the in-game company and that of the real world titan that is Google, such as Noodle Maps, the Noodle Car and the Noodle Offices themselves. The Noodle Offices in particular are awesome and riddled with miniature details that are indicative of Google practices and styles, even sporting an interactive slide. I've personally been to the Google HQ in London and while the little bit of it that I I saw wasn't quite as wacky as the one depicted in Watch Dogs 2, I did see a small miniature golf course and a wide array of colour plastered all over the walls. So most people are aware now that Ubisoft like to promote their games and products in the games they make, and none more so than the brand itself. So similar to the offices we covered at the beginning of this year in the game The Division, you can also find Ubisoft offices in Watch Dogs 2, but this time it actually goes a little bit further than just that. So instead of just coming to the offices and looking at their glory from the outside, which incidentally will also show off a large advertisement for the upcoming Assassin's Creed movie, you can instead come to this location and listen to this man's conversation. I can assure you there's no way the trailer is getting out. Assure me. After what happened with Unity, 
Syndicate, Osiris. Our security has never been tighter. If this leaks, you can go ahead and fire me. Don't think I haven't considered that. After you finish listening to the conversation, you'll get a new side mission called Ubi Stolen. This mission gives you the objective of finding out information on an upcoming game. But wait, before we get onto that, what did that guy just say a minute ago? Osiris. If you hadn't guessed, he was talking about the Assassin's Creed games. But the weird thing is, there's no Assassin's Creed Osiris. So maybe this is the name of the next Assassin's Creed game. After all, Osiris was an Ubisoft game that was accidentally leaked back in 2013. At the time, it was thought to be a standalone Egypt-based game, but its inclusion with the list of Assassin's Creed games here may suggest its inclusion with the franchise. Only time will tell. But anyway, back to the normal scheduled topic. So once you have this mission, head over to the Ubisoft offices. Once there, access the terminal connected to the building that's on the roof, and you'll be able to see inside the offices. Inside, there are many pictures for numerous unknown games littered around the walls, but the bit you need to get to is the office at the end of the hall with the big TV inside it. Once there, access the computer underneath the TV, and sit back and enjoy. So at the moment there are a lot of rumours going on around about this bit. Many people think that it's just a clip made for the inside game world, but some people think this is too nicely polished and this is actually Ubisoft teasing at a future game. Why not let me know what you think in the comments down below? And that is all the easter eggs and references I have for you this week. This game is so full of easter eggs and references and as always I can't wait to explore even more. Currently at the moment I'm exploring Alcatraz and the surrounding areas as I'm sure there must be some hidden secrets around there and if I do find any you guys will be the first to know. However for this week that's all the time I have but quickly before I leave how many of you guys remember way back when my channel first started I used to do a Minecraft series where I had a little friend called Raymond the Rabbit. Well since I stopped that series poor Raymond has fallen on hard times and he's asked me to to ask you guys a huge favour, and that is that his family lives off the revenue for the previous Minecraft videos we did, and to get them seen by more people, he needs more traffic to come to the channel. So he humbly asks you, and just to clear this, it, it's him asking, definitely, definitely not me, I promise, it's, it's definitely him. So he, yes, he asks if you could leave a like on this video so he can feed his poor, starving family. I mean, come on, look at that face. Let's help him, guys. <laughs> What the fuck am I doing? But seriously guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. See ya!